Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day, great weekend, wherever you are. We're going to head over to Torwoodley, Torwoodley Tower today, where I've been before. I've spoken to uh, quite a few people around the town that have told me that they were unaware of like Tor the Torwoodley Estate and Torwoodley Tower and the Brock further, further up the hill. So I'm going to uh, make a video today showing the route. We're going to head here from McDonald's and we're going to head up the road past Aldi. And I'll pick the video up from there. So just past the Aldi on the main road and we're going to head to the railway bridge and there's a small path that runs along the railway line. <laughs> I don't believe it. Look, there's another flying trampoline. So that's the second trampoline that that storm blew and this one uh, landed here in the woods. I imagine they're quite expensive so... I mean no, oh, the frame's broken. But, uh, I imagine there's some child who's very upset that he's lost his trampoline. Yeah so if anybody's lost their trampoline in Gala Shields, uh, I know where it is. Yeah so it's Sunday morning here and it's uh, completely deserted. Okay, so here's a little gripe from me. Notice that the council-owned wheelie bins have a really light plastic lid, and in the uh, storm, all the wheelie bins blew over and the lids blew off the top, and all the contents blew out. Now, if the wind was strong enough to pick up a trampoline and throw it into the bushes over there, you imagine what it's done to all the paper and plastic bags and rubbish that has come out of the bin. So this is where the, the path meets the main road again. We're going to be walking past the uh, car hand wash. Yeah, so if you're coming by a car, this is a good place to park here, just in this little lay-by. So this is the way uh, to the tower. Very off-putting because there's a sign there that tells you it's a private road. But in actual fact, it's public right of way up into the Pringle estate, the Torwoodley estate. And uh, the tower is, is basically just hidden in those woods up there. It's coming out. Just showing the head. Okay, so when you get to here, uh, there's a sign telling you not to go any further, because it's the Pringle family residence. Okay, so when you, you get to this junction here in the road, you want to be taking the road, little green lane, just up to there. But, uh, you'll see a signpost. Yeah, so right takes you up to the Brock. Left, where are we going? Got this lovely little green lane here, takes you to the tower. So you can probably hear the main road just to the left of me here. We're making our way up to the tower. Yeah, so what you can see here is the, the remains of the old 14th century tower fortification, which used to be like an L shape. This was uh, what it used to look like before it was destroyed. There's recently been uh, 150,000 pounds spent on this place just tidying it up, putting these signs here and uh, just buttering up the, uh, the brickwork. Yeah, it's a magnificent old fortification. And, um, if you do visit here, uh, don't attempt to climb up the tower. Uh, I was contacted by the Pringles uh, to tell me uh, not to climb the tower. So, come look, but uh, no climbing. So they've been the, the grand entrance to the tower the coat of arms of the Pringle family. Um, it would have been here, but the coat of arms has been has been removed. And you can see how thick the walls are here, the vaulted stone ceilings. 
Yeah, so the tower is completely broken. You can see, you still see remnants of the old spiral staircase. Very old graffiti. Maybe a hundred years old. Maybe two hundred years old. Maybe even three. Some lovely dressed stone there and making that window arch with that lintel. If you have uh, any more time to spend here, it's worth uh, making your way just up from the tower here and across the old cat trail to Clovenfords and visiting White Bank Tower, which is another Pringle fortification on the Torwoodley estate. And I'll leave a link uh, above somewhere uh, to that video. So we're going to make our way back now. And uh, I'm going to close the video here. Uh, if I see anything more interesting on the way back, I'll put it in as a bonus after this. Yeah, so just up from the, uh, the railway line, I've just found this old abandoned house. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra.